Welcome to this ANSYS Innovation course. In this video, we will learn how to define a nonlinear BH curve in ANSYS Maxwell and key points to remember while defining this. Before jumping onto Maxwell, let's see why and when we need to define a BH curve. Electrical steels forms the core of all electrical machine applications, including rotating machines, linear machines, solenoid walls, and transformers. The electrical steels used in most of these applications are subjected to alternating magnetic fields and are required to reverse their magnetization direction quickly with low energy loss while doing so. These materials are called soft magnetic materials and they have a narrow BH loop. As you can see, the BH curve is nonlinear and it starts saturating beyond the knee point, indicating further magnetic induction in the material is limited. For the accurate consideration of material behavior at various magnetic induction points, it is necessary to define the BH curve of respective material in Maxwell material definition. In this video, we will be discussing only about the initial BH curve definition for soft magnetic materials in Maxwell. So let's get started. For this IBM machine that you are seeing on the screen, if you want to assign a material to this data, one way is to right click on the standard definition on the history tree window, edit properties. In the properties window under material section, select edit. A material library window pops up. Maxwell has an extensive library of material properties. However, if you want to define your own material properties that you received from manufacturer, then select add material or you can clone any existing material. Let's choose add material. Under relative permeability, select type as nonlinear. Then you will see a BH curve button available under value. Click on the BH curve button. This pop up window allows you to enter the B and H data. By default, normal BH curve is selected. You can choose intrinsic if you have the data or if you want to convert the existing data to intrinsic. For an existing curve, validation checks are performed on the coordinate list when you attempt to change the type. If the data is not valid, an error message will be displayed and the type of B will not be changed. If data is valid, a query dialog box displays asking if the coordinates should be converted. Pressing no can be used when you specify the BH coordinates and then realize you have not selected the desired type. Here you can start entering the data manually or you can import the data from a .bh or .tab format. You can simply rename a text file to .tab format and it will accept the data. Before you enter the data or import the data, check the units of B and H values set on this window. You can change the units for both H and B using the bottom right drop down menus. If required, you can append more rows or delete rows using these buttons below the table. As you start entering the data or when you import the data, an interpolated curve in green is automatically created. Curve from the data points is shown in red. To view these two graphs separately, you can right click on the plot window, go to view, visibility and select the curve you want to view. By default, the BH data entered is applicable to all the temperatures, which is generally the case with the states. When you want to enter the temperature dependent data, you can select edit temperature dependency and select temperature dependent and add at least two temperature values for which you want to add the BH data. Now you can select the temperature from the drop down menu and follow the same procedure to input the BH data for the temperature. Note that if temperature dependent BH curves are used, the selected units are applied to all the temperature dependent curves. 
Now that you have seen how to input the BH data, let us look at some of the key points to be considered while defining the nonlinear BH. The first data points for B and H must be zero. The value of B must increase along the curve. For an intrinsic BH curve, the slope of the curve cannot be less than zero. For a normal BH curve, the slope of the curve cannot be less than that of vacuum anywhere along the curve. The data points representing the BH curve should have enough points for accurate representation of the curve. 20 or more points should be specified with increased concentration on the knee of the curve. Since BH operating points in the FEA solution may extend beyond the input BH data set, the BH data set is extrapolated in maximum. The slope of the last two user-defined data points is used to extrapolate the BH curve and thus should be as close to mu naught as possible. The slope can be described as relative incremental permeability and can be calculated using this formula with units of Tesla and Ampere per meter for B and H respectively. This value should be as close to 1 as possible to best represent saturated behavior. If the slope of the last two points is more than twice the permeability of free space, a warning message is issued during the solution, cautioning about possible non-physical solution. Once you enter the BH data, click OK below the table. On this window, under material name, you can give an appropriate name for this material. Let's name it as status steel for now and click OK. You can see the stator has been moved under the material stator steel. By following these guidelines, you will be able to successfully define the nonlinear BH curve in Maxwell. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on ANSYS Maxwell or any of our simulation tools, visit our ANSYS learning channel ansys.com forward slash courses.